bienvenidos a un nuevo vídeo de Genshin Impact Soy Joseph Herrero y estamos aquí on fire un día más Y bueno, hoy tengo muchísimas cosas que enseñaros Así que vamos lo primero todo a un momentito a poner un bonito código para que lo tengáis todos desbloqueados Aunque ya lo he puesto en este caso en lo que sería la cuenta, ¿vale? Para que lo tengáis todos Pero por si acaso os lo voy a escribir aquí también para que lo veáis y lo podáis canjear, ¿vale? Así que vamos con ello, vamos a ponerlo todo el rato en mayúsculas, ¿vale? Importante Fan, Ron, de Ron, G, Chan, y ahora Sheng. Ahí estamos. Ya sabéis que también lo podéis canjear en lo que he puesto aquí en la descripción. Tenéis el código en, también en la cajita del vídeo, ¿vale? Y le damos a canjear. Código de canje inválido. ¿Cómo que? What? Wrong. Chan. Ostras, espérate. Me he dejado una G, bros. Eh. Ahora sí. Antes, no. Ahí está. Y bueno, no es lo único que nos está esperando, ojo, en el correo. Y es que tengo una surprise. Han puesto, como muchos ya sabréis, algo que llevamos mucho tiempo esperando aquí en España, que es el tema de... Bueno, aquí está el canje, como veis son 18.000 moras, no es que sea gran cosa, pero está bien. Vamos a recogerlo. Y ahora aquí viene lo importante, ¿vale? Esto, el, esto es lo que tenéis que coger. Distribución de conjuntos alternativos. Querido, querida viajero, viajera, aquí están los diseños terminados de los conjuntos alternativos para los personajes. No olvides recogerlos a tiempo. Vamos a recogerlos. Aquí estarán los trajes. Y básicamente son el traje monja libertina para Rosaría. El traje, en este caso, de pacto luna estelar para Mona. Y por aquí tenemos el de explorador al 100% de nuestra querida Amber. Y por último, el del de personaje 5 estrellas, el de los Gunhilder de Jin. Ojo, es un vestuario de 4 estrellas. Tengo que decir que hay una cosa importante eh, con todo esto y es explicar un poco la procedencia de estos trajes. Básicamente, en China eh, habían censurado a algunos de los personajes. Y bueno, aquí pues la versión no es que ahora pues tenemos esos trajes desbloqueados y en España... No nos van a dar compensación en protogemas, pero sí que nos permiten ¿no? que podamos, en este caso, disfrutar del armario que nosotros queramos. Ya os digo, eh, este, por ejemplo, a mí me mola, está bien. Eh, es un traje que, como podéis ver, tiene bastante, bastante estilo. Pero es lo que digo, es muy parecido al, al original. Lo único que, si os fijáis, literalmente va un poquito más tapadita. Es algo que lo vais a poder ver un poco en todos. Cambian algunas cosillas, está más decorado. Por ejemplo, la medalla, la insignia esta se ve, se ve guay, que la han añadido. Es un poquito diferente a esta. Pero básicamente, lo que digo, lo único que yo así de cambio veo es la parte del pecho. Literal, lo tiene tapado y ya está. Cosas que pasan, ¿no? Bueno, ahí lo veis, es un poquito más sensual simplemente, pero bueno, lo que digo, cualquiera que os guste. A mí yo con Jim prefiero, la verdad, el del sueño de la brisa marina. Y bueno, vamos un poquito a ver el resto, ¿no? Vamos un momentito a aprovechar. Ojo. Eh. Mona. A ver, de Mona el tema del traje, eh, yo es lo que digo. Eh, a mí me gusta mucho más el original O sea Aquí sí que no hay, no hay campo medio, ¿no? Tenemos por ejemplo este aquí Y luego este como podéis ver eh, Es como... A ver, está chulo Pero es como... Claro, un poco diferente, ¿no? Eh, aquí por ejemplo sí, se ve algo más y demás Pero es lo que digo, por ejemplo este aquí A mí me gusta mucho el... Cómo está diseñada, lo de las piernas, todo eso La verdad que le queda muy guay con esa especie de medias y es un poco como... Me gusta un poco ver así de mona. En este caso yo prefiero literalmente el básico. El sombrero, como podéis ver, cambia un poquito la tonalidad de color. El color aquí sí que cambia un poquito. También hay un recolor muy claro. Pero lo que digo, eh, entre estos dos trajes, a mí de mona me gusta más el original, eh. Ojo. Ahí cada uno tendréis vuestro favorito. Pero a mí, por ejemplo, sí que es verdad que mona me sigue gustando mucho el que tenía. Rosaría para mí me parece todo un acierto. O sea, fijaos lo guapo que está. Este es el clásico de ella, ¿vale? Y este es el otro. Este, tengo que decir que mola muchísimo, mola mucho esos colores y demás, y la verdad que le queda genuinamente bien, así que aquí sí que el cambio os lo voy a aplicar claro. Y luego el de Amber, a ver, este es un poco extraño, se supone que van a hacer más reworks, así que vamos a tener más trajecitos, en este caso, por aquí en breves. Pero bueno, lo que digo, aquí el de Amber, pues bueno, tenemos el clásico, ¿no? Y el otro sería este. A ver, mmm, ¿qué queréis que os diga? Los dos me gustan, pero es que el cambio, o sea, si os fijáis es... Un poquito más tapado el pecho, literal O sea, el guante cambia de color Pero claro, eh, no es un cambio que digas Bueno, qué bestia, ¿no? O sea, no sé 
yo creo que hay un poco de color en la paleta y tal, pero es lo que digo, no, no es un cambio que vea muy, muy bestia. A, a mí, por ejemplo, aquí sí que no sé con cuál de los dos quedarme. Me gustan los dos, están guays. Pero bueno, vamos un poquito a dejarnos del rollo, ¿no? Y vamos al lío, vamos a la misión nueva de hoy. Así que vamos a ir a misiones. Y en este caso hay que venir aquí <coughs> con los ojos en el cielo y los pies en el suelo. Con los ojos en el cielo y los pies en el suelo tras recibir el encargo de Ketching, te sirves de tus abundantes conocimientos y experiencias para investigar el intercambio de los regalos en días festivos. 60 protogemas va a ser la recompensa, así que vamos a venir. Lo primero de todo, tenemos que hacer que sea entre las 8 y las 12, así que venimos aquí al bonito reloj y vamos al lío. Vamos a poner, por ejemplo, a las 10. El problema es que creo que sigue contando el día, ¿no? A ver. O sea, no he cambiado de día. Bueno, pues mira, ya, ya, ya funciona. Vale. vale, nos tenemos que ir a Liyue. Yo, yo estoy aquí en Yanzuma, bros. Cositas de la vida, ¿no? Vamos un poquito de lo que yo ahí a ver, en este caso, eh, cómo progresamos con todo este evento. Perdóname si estoy un poco extraño, pero es lo que os digo. Eh, pff, he tenido un pequeño problemilla y la verdad que estoy ahora mismo con un desgarro en el hombro. Que duele que flipas, ¿vale? Entonces estoy con medicación, estoy con unos calmantes Y me noto un poco como espeso No sé si se va a notar luego en el vídeo Pero yo por si acaso os aviso Y quien avisa no es traidor No estoy en mis máximas facultades ahora mismo Pero bueno, vamos un poquito aquí a centrarnos en Genshin Vamos a... <risa> Madre mía, que disparo que me estoy pegando Y aquí está Genshin En la cámara de Jade con un montón de regalos Cuan Papá Noel Vamos a ver Ah, you've arrived I've made all the necessary preparations and even packed some handmade snacks. Oh, that reminds me. I've also prepared some launch tubes made by Pungi. I hope the Adepti will like them. Is there anything else I should bring? Creo que no falta nada. Good. In that case, let's first pay Madame Ping a visit in the city before heading out to Joyun Karst. Vale, aquí está desbloqueada la misión. Vamos a ver de qué hay que hacer. Pues nada, parece que lo primero va a ser la terraza de Yujin, así que vamos a pegarnos el mega asalto de la vida con Xiao. ¿Podríamos teletransportarnos? Sí, pero Xiao mola más. Que ahora tiene tres cargas. Tengo que decir que la C1 de Xiao, tanto que la gente me decía... Que no cambia nada, wow, yo a, a nivel de daño la noto bastante, ¿eh? Y es lo que digo, ojalá lo que digo en la próxima vez que salga vaya por alguna constelación más Porque es que es mi personaje favorito del juego, básicamente Desde que salió, ya lo sabéis, en la beta... Uf, madre mía, es que... He chiado, ya está Es que me encanta su apariencia y lo único que quiero es que saque una skin chulísima de él Para tener más de armario con el crack Pero bueno, vamos aquí a hablar con Madame Pink Vamos a ver de qué va todo esto y a ver cómo continúa este increíble evento, ¿no? De este festival tan divertido. Que bueno, que si estáis un poco también al día, recordad, tenéis que recoger las, en este caso, los deseos o las tiradas, ¿no? Que nos van dando. Importante. Really, child? Who could be seeking your help during the lantern rite? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Madam Ping! Happy lantern rite! Feliz rito de la linterna! It's a pleasure to see you again, Madam Ping. How are you? No la ves. Está como un... Como oh, debe dear. estar perfecta. Well, look who's here. I'm so glad to Me see you all in time Ping, for eh? the festival. Hello, traveler. Long time no see. Oh, and Lady Kuching is here too. The Chixing have prepared some small gifts for you to celebrate this festive occasion. There are some seasonal goods, two bolts of fine silk, and some exotic flower seeds which I picked specifically for you, Madam Ping. I brought all the lighter gifts with me, but the silks are still on the way. I just submitted them for delivery, so I'm sure they'll arrive in good time. Okay. Please, accept our humble gifts. I hope you'll find them to your liking. Wow, those gifts sound marvelous. Please be sure to thank the Chising on our behalf. Vale. Yes, how very nice of you. I'm sure the flowers will be most beautiful if you personally selected the seeds. Thank you very much, Kuching. Uh -huh. Please, enjoy them. 
We intend to visit the other Adepti as well, so I'm afraid we must be going now. I presume you mean Cloud Retainer and the others? Yes, they should be over in Jueyun Kast. By the way, I've heard that you designed all the street decorations yourself, Kuching. Yenfei really enjoys spending time at the festival. You'll find her wandering around there whenever she can spare a moment. Come on, Granny. I wasn't wandering around. I was providing essential consultation to my clients. Oh, is that so? Were you also holding consultations Ostras, pillar, with clients? No? As a matter of fact, I was helping them calculate the prices. It's not easy, you know. I had to check a lot of different items. Tienes que trabajar durante el rito de la linterna. That's right. There are no holidays in my line of work. That sounds exhausting. Oh, Paimon can't imagine a life without holidays. Well, though there are no set holidays, I do get to decide on my own schedule. I can always budget some time to relax. Otherwise, I would always look exhausted in front of potential clients. It'd be hard to land new cases after leaving a terrible first impression. Besides, uh, what's the saying? Ah, yes, a rested worker is an efficient worker. Kitchen, has estado en el festival? I was there many times when I was supervising the festival construction, but I haven't been there since. I was planning to go after I finished my work, but the work keeps piling up. I ended up completely forgetting about it. Vayamos juntos cuando termines. <laughs> yes, I should take the opportunity to show you around while you're here. But first, we should head to Joy Yun Karst. If you'll excuse us, Madam Ping. Pues nada, vamos a ver un poco cómo continúa la aventurita, ¿no? Sí. Which adeptus shall we visit first? Vale, hay que ir a la montaña o Zank. Vamos allá, abrimos el mapita y ya sabéis, está en... Eh, básicamente está aquí, ¿vale? O sea, no, bueno, nos va a seguir marcado como siempre, así que venimos a este teleport y al lío. No, no sé qué os estará pareciendo de este evento, pero a mí me monta la historia, me está gustando bastante, es divertido. ¿Eh? Y aquí, mientras está cargando, ya empieza la cinemática. GG PlayStation 4. All right, Cloud Retainer it is. Vamos al lío. Mira, aquí estaban yo, ¿no? The festive season is fast approaching. What brings you to one's abode? Has the Ministry of Civil Affairs simply run out of work for you to do? Qué duro. Well, with Lantern Rite just around the corner, I decided it was a good time to take leave and pay you a visit. But um Where are Mooncarver and Mountain Shaper? Them? Oh, don't even get one started. Oh, is that not the Traveler and the Yuhang too? Hmm, a rare visitor indeed. Happy Lantern Ride, everybody! Paimon es la suya, como siempre. Feliz rito de la linterna. Greetings, venerable Adeptus. And greetings, Ganyu. Huh? Lady Kuching, I didn't expect to see you here. The Yu Hung of the Chi Sing. Here. Fascinante. Most fascinating. Hmm. Most courteous of you to travel hither and pay your respects. What is the purpose of your visit, if one may ask? Oh. Uh -huh. It's the festive season, and on behalf of the Qixing, I'd like to give you our regards. Please, accept our humble gifts. As the governing body of Liyue, the Qixing must be busy with a myriad of affairs. And yet, you still take the time to visit one in this mountain abode. Eminently considerate of you. Oh, what an amusing cylindrical device. I wonder what that could be. 
Hmm. This is a new type of firework which has been modified by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I've heard that you are fond of gadgets, so I've brought one for your amusement. Cloud Retainer. Although she is not outwardly opposed to us, she is still skeptical of Liyue being ruled by humans. Maybe she thinks humans are still too young to handle it. Hmm. No matter. With time, our strength will become apparent enough. <laughs> Good thing I came prepared. Cloud Retainer has a great interest in gadgets. Como contra que chine, so poca broma. Poca sola de eso. This gift. Ganyu has said that Cloud Retainer is very picky about food, so I made sure not to bring any snacks to avoid upsetting her. Goodness me. Me, me encanta, es como que están haciendo aquí un duelo mental, eh. En plan de, vaya. Very interesting. It is intricate with ingenious design. Yes. Judging from Cloud Retainer's expression, me encanta. Todos aquí hablando en plan de la mente y el prota estará en plan de. Very good. One shall gladly accept this device. One surmises from Ganyu's words that you also wish to see Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper. Pity. Your timing is most unfortunate. Oh, are they not home? Oh, we wanted to see them too. Hmm, those two old fossils. Moon Carver has been most anxious to see how Liyue Harbor fares, but the agreement was clear. Liyue is now in the hands of the Chising. And he cannot simply roam into the city and begin supervising others' work as he pleases. So one tried to persuade him otherwise, proposing that if he could not be placated, he could go to the city disguised as a human and take a brief look around. Alas, he is too stubborn, too proud. He would have none of it. Thereafter he left, claiming to have gone traveling, he has not returned since. Mountain Shaper, however, is more open-minded. But he said he wished to look for something new with which to defend the tranquility of his mountain. He told one that he was leaving in search of treasures. And one has not heard from him since. Wait. Surely this is not a case of two old coots and cahoots. Huh? What this voice? Is it Shanha? Oh? Oh? So Shanha is here too! Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Is she the one that you mentioned before? Vaya. Hello, everyone. Shanha, this is Ganyu. You have most likely heard of her. Uh, oh, uh, hello. I'm Ganyu. I work at Yujing Terrace. I've heard that you returned to Liyue Harbor recently, so I will. Thank you. <laughs> I brought some food from the city. I heard that during lantern rites, people in Liyue bring food to share with their demasiado. friends. So here I am. Oh no, I made a point of not bringing any food offerings. Is it going to be okay? Oh. And you even brought food for those two old fossils. That's right. Hmm. Uh. After barely a few days in the city, you have learned so much. Thank you for these delectable edibles, Shenhe. <sighs> huh? Everyone, you shall all be staying in Liyue Harbor in the future. One should like to think that you will all look out for each other. Okay. Will do. Yes, under this place is much livelier than I'd imagined. Deberíamos cambiar de tema. <laughs> Por cierto, han visto a Xiao? The conqueror of demons? One has not seen him of late. Yo sí, en el templo de Verbases. Well, then he's probably not enjoying Karst. Hmm. Let's go look for him in his usual spot. In short, one is the only Adeptus who has elected to remain in Joyun Karst for the festival. Had Ganyu not come to visit, one would likely have stayed firmly put in one's abode to resume research of gadgets and... I didn't mean to interrupt you. 
<laughs> Why the sudden solemnity? It would certainly not be the first time one has been interrupted on your account. As a youngling, you did so love to scurry around the place while one's attention was monopolized by mechanisms. Oh? Eh? Oh no, here she goes again. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Cloud Retainer. I just remembered there's yeah, something pero I must no attend to. Así, de I should be going. Oh, why the sudden haste? With the Yuhang present, why not settle this matter here and now? Uh, n no. It's something very important. In fact, I must see Lady Ningguang about it immediately. <laughs> A matter so pressing that you must find Ningguang in person? <clears throat> uh, yes, Ningguang and I have different scopes of work, you see, and Gan Yu ha Lady Kuching is trying to help me. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm very sorry, everyone. I will take my leave. Bueno, Gan Yu se va. Nos hemos quedado todos con la duda de qué ha pasado ahí. Ha sido un momento un poquito raro e intenso. Oh, gone already. That one can sympathize, however. It is no simple thing to be a secretary. Mola cómo están integrando a Senge en toda la historia. Every matter in Liu Ai Harbor, but even as an adeptus, she must never neglect her own health. Gan Yu is an assiduous worker, apt to forgoing food and rest once she is busy. Please make sure she eat. I will. Ganyu has always been a great asset to us. The Yu Hung, reliable as ever. <laughs> it was indeed a wise decision to leave Liu Ai Harbor to you. We will certainly strive to live up to your expectations. Ojo, eh. As Todo esto es importante porque son. Realmente es el lore del juego por fin avanzando y bastante en el tema del Yue. Que con nuestras aventuras en Inazuma, obviamente, pues nos habíamos ido un poco, ¿no? Eh, bastante Shen lejos. Shall bring these into one's abode. And one shall pass them on to Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper once. This firework has an intriguing design. One must conduct a thorough study of it. And one also wants to hear what Shenha has learned in Liyue Harbor. Oh, yes. I have many interesting stories to tell. Oh. Let us chat while one scrutinizes this device. ¿Piensas llevar a cabo tu investigación en plena ruta de la linterna? After all, <laughs> one has long been living secluded in the mountains and no longer observes the holidays. Worry not, one shall take appropriate care of oneself. Rest is crucial. If one is too devoted to one's research and falls ill, one shall be in no fit state to test the devices personally. Really that important to test it yourself? Of course. As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. If one spends all that time working on a machine, yet forgets to test the outcome, that would be akin to a chef who never tries his own food, no? Vale. It is unwise to put the cart before the horse. Ah, <sighs> enough idle chatter, everyone. One must go and continue one's research. Vale, preservar las nubes se marcha con Senge. A chef who doesn't get to try their own food? Hmm, that would be kind of weird. Esa metáfora sí que has entendido, eh, Paimon. <laughs> Cloud Retainer sure does know a lot about gadgets and cooking. She can be a bit strange sometimes. But then again, she is an adeptus. That's the wisdom of an adeptus. She takes good care of those around her. Though she lives in seclusion, she also manages to bring everyone together. A hermit who's more social than most living in society. Traveler, Paimon, let's head to Wang Xuan. Perhaps we'll find the conqueror of demons there. Vale, pues vamos a ver así, hombre. Esto siempre mola. Pues ya sabéis. Eh, vamos a ir a ir a la posada de Wang Chu, así que. Epa, no, 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 no. Mapa. Me voy al paseo de batalla, digo, se me va, se me va. Vamos a venir a la posada de Wang Chu, está por aquí, no creo que haya ningún problema, así que vamos a hacer el buen TP.
Y bueno, nos cepeamos a la posadita y vamos a ver en este caso qué pasa con nuestro amiguito, el Badas, el number one, el solitario, Xiao. Tengo muchas ganas de ver un poquito qué trama en este caso le han dado en este evento. De momento lo que digo, me gusta mucho porque vemos a todos los personajes de Liyue, ¿no? Y eso me mucho. Ojo, Kiki. What? Yo lo había visto lo de pervases, poca broma. Doctor Baiju, here are the herbs. I've picked lots of them. Splendid. Let me pack up and then we can be on our way. Y el dendro pa cuando. Hey you guys, what are you doing? Doctor Baiju wanted herbs, so I came to collect herbs, lots of them, and Doctor Baiju came too. Traveler, Paimon, oh, and Lady Catching. It's a pleasure to see you all. We're here stocking up more herbs. Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs out of digestive herbs during the festival seasons. With Lantern right just around the corner, I thought we should get prepared. We came all this way to collect some herbs, and we've picked quite the assortment. We'll be on our way back to the pharmacy once the herbs are sorted. I certainly didn't expect to see the Yuhong all the way out here. I have some business to attend to. Ah, I see. It's nearly time to celebrate Lantern Rite, and you're still running errands. Hardworking as always. I appreciate the sentiment, Dr. Baiju. I'm just doing my job. Kaching and the Traveler are very busy. And we are busy too. Me encanta que con su voz tan tranquila. Keep it up. Right, thank you, Teach. We shouldn't tarry here any longer. Take care, you two. Uh, um, three. Traveler, let's go find Vergoldet. Vale, pues vamos a ver a, a ver qué nos dice Vergoldet. Y bueno, seguro que ella algo sabe. Ya sabéis, venimos por aquí y al leo. Mira, te separo del fondo, eh. Ah, Lady Kuching, what a surprise. Is there anything I can help you with? No, thank you. I'm just wondering if you might know where the Conqueror of Demons is. Oh, we never inquire about Chao's whereabouts. But if he's here, he would be up on the rooftop terrace. Vale, pues vamos al tejado. Donde normalmente lo solemos encontrar. Ya os digo que me extraña que esté en el tejado por el tema de que lo hemos visto durante una de las misiones de, en este caso, de Senge. Estaba en el eh, cerca del templo de Pervases. Ya sabéis esa misión que hemos hecho porque teníamos todo completado, en este caso el Iyue, hasta la fecha. Y ahí cerca del templo que hemos reconstruido, pues se encontraba Xiao, así que ahora veremos. Ahí, como siempre, robándose la aparición. Me encanta. Xiao, Dios. <risa> Ey, Xiao, tío, ¿cómo va? ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo correcto? ¿Has estado aquí todo este tiempo? Yes. Hello. I am Kuching. Yuhong of the Liyue Chising. The Yuhong. Yes. I saw you when we battled Osile. You are fierce with your blade. Oh, me la hago de Xiao, es mucho, eh. Las siete estrellas las han preparado especialmente para ti. Xiao, campeón, mastodonte, fiera. Eradicating demons is my duty. You don't have to thank me. Karma is harmful to the human body, even if you have a stronger constitution than most. You should keep your distance from me when you can afford to. Hey, wait! Are you leaving? Vamos a la ciudad a ver los fuegos artificiales, tío. Vente. Like I said before, I have no liking for crowds. Montanita, pero voy contigo, bro. I must remain vigilant of evil attacks, especially during the holidays. You should also exercise caution. And if there's any danger, no hay problema. Tendremos cuidado. Good. Me huele a que se va, ¿no? <risa> Típico de él. Me encanta. And he's gone. Well, Xiao hasn't changed a bit. 
wonder if he'll come and watch the fireworks this year, though. Si, si, si lo quiere. All right, we've completed our visits with all the adepti. Let's take a break downstairs before we head back into the. Vale, pues parece que ahora toca descansar y bajar de la posada de Wonchu. Ojo, Pengi. What should we do? Maestro pirotécnico. ¿Qué ha pasado? Huh? Oh, Lady Kuching, Lady Kuching, I'm so glad to see you here. Fang Yi, what's wrong? What are you doing here? Lady Kuching, let me explain. I had rearranged the fireworks layout and expanded the range to Chingsa Village, just like you requested. My people finished setting up the fireworks, and we left someone in charge to launch them for the show. But. <sighs> The person we left in charge came back shortly after and reported that all the fireworks in Chingsa village had been stolen. I immediately reported the situation cosas, yeah. to the Millilith and had another batch of fireworks made to be transported to Chingsa village under escort. However, ojo, ojo, que ya aquí hay gente haciendo el mal. The Millilith are already stretched thin and don't even have enough people to fill their regular patrols. They can't spare anyone to look after the fireworks for us. We don't have many materials left. So if the second batch of fireworks gets stolen as well, we're done for. So, I was thinking to go to Chingsa Village and have a look first. Which is when I bumped into you, Lady Kuching. What should we do? According to the Ministry of Civil Affairs, the number of guards on patrol has to be doubled and rotated continuously during Lantern Rite. They must perform these extra measures in addition to their standard daily affairs. The only manpower they can muster during the festival would be the emergency response units. Se lo sabe todo de memoria, eh, poca broma. Those special units are intended only for backup. There are not many of them and they cannot perform prolonged guard duty. If... Hmm. Maybe we can ask the adepti for help. This would be a piece of cake for someone like Cloud Retainer or Xiao. <sighs> no, that would only make us look incompetent. I'll handle this, Pungyi. Cuenta con nosotros. That's right. We can take care of this together. Thanks, you two. Actually, I have an idea. Let me make some arrangements. Peng Yi, go back to Liyue Harbor and get the fireworks ready. Then meet me in Chingsa Village. Traveler, come with me. Let's ask around to see what happened. Vale. Vale, vamos a ir a la aldea de Chingsa. Así que ya sabéis, está aquí al lado, pero bueno, vamos a hacer el buen TP. Y nos venimos hacia esta bonita zona de aquí. Recordaros, en la zona de eventos, aparte de todos los eventos de este increíble festival, ¿no? Tenéis también lo de la recompensa diaria. Si durante estos 14 días os conectáis 7 días, vais a recibir un total de 10 deseos de los moraditos, que también está bastante, bastante guay. Y es algo que, creedme, merece la pena que los cojáis. Vamos a hablar con, con de esto, ¿no? Y por ejemplo, tocan dos, es el tercer día, pues ahí estamos. Ya tenemos dos destinos más. Perfecto. Bueno, y ahora vamos un poquito al lío, ¿no? Venimos por aquí y a ver qué pasa. Yo ya voy a guardar para cuando haya un PJ nuevo pillarlo. Oh, how could a whole batch of fireworks just vanish like. Hello, Granny Roshin. We'd like to know more about the recent fireworks theft. Oh, Lady Kaching. I can hardly believe you came personally to investigate. It's no trouble at all. Please, tell us what happened. Well, when they brought the fireworks, the children in the village were very excited. They were all gathered round watching the area for a long time. The workers piled up the fireworks and said they would go confirm the locations to set them off. That's when they left the village. Oh, now, let me remember. Ah, oh, yes. I recall that they left the fireworks in an open area just next to a house down the old road. But the very next day, all the fireworks were nowhere to be seen. The person in charge of the fireworks was so anxious that they went straight back to the city to find a solution. Oh, the villagers here are worried too. The fireworks missing can only mean that there are thieves about. Although the Millilith are stationed here. I understand. Please help reassure the people in the village and tell them everything's going to be fine with the Millilith standing guard. Traveler, let's go investigate the place where the fireworks were stolen. 
Pues lo que digo, parece que toca investigar, así que vamos a ir al sitio. Ojo, poca broma, pero podrían currarse, aquí no creo, pero podrían currarse una mazmorrita, estaría bastante, bastante guay. Vamos allá. The thieves must think there are mostly elderly and children living in Chinksa village, all too weak to defend themselves. Otherwise, they would never dare commit such a blatant crime. This is absolutely awful. We cannot let such a matter go unpunished. Let's see if we can find any clues here before we plan our next step. Bye. Con los ojos en el cielo y los pies en el suelo, busca pistas. Esto no parece muy complicado, así que vamos a ello. Y a ver cómo continúa esta pequeña gran aventura en el universo de Genshin Impact. Lo he madre mía, cada vez estamos más cerca de los 300 videacos. Y a ver. ¿Son estos? ¿Footprints? Vamos a ver dónde van. Vale, esto lo de las prisiones, pero aquí hay más. The footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. Vale, y se van hacia abajo, ojo, eh. ¿Qué puede haber por aquí? No lo sé. Vamos a pillar los chiles. The footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. Ojo, que pueden estar en la guarida, en la zona esta que hace mil que no vamos, a ver, voy a pillar un montito los chiles. Ahí hay gente, perfecto. Sir, please, this is all just a big misunderstanding. <risa> a misunderstanding, you say? If so, then tell me, why are you hiding here? Please, good sir, this really is just a misunderstanding. <risa> I would never dream of getting anywhere near the Feyun Commerce Guild shipment. Bueno, niño agua y niño hielo están aquí. Kiyu y Chongyun están aquí, así que vamos a ver qué pasa. Oh, the Feyun Commerce Guild? Please save your breath. Restrain this fellow. Tightly now. We mustn't let him get away. Yes, young master. Uh, I was sure it was an evil spirit. Turns out it's the treasure hoarders again. ¿Qué hacen aquí? Well, hello, dear traveler. Our fates cross once again. What brings you here? Uh, excuse me. Please, tell me what is happening here. Ah, yes. Allow me to explain. It so happens that every year during the Lantern Rite, the Feiyun Commerce Guild transports supplies to ver... Family rules stipulate that the supplies must be personally escorted by a family member. Because my older brother went last year, the duties have fallen to me this time around. Oh, so what's Chang Yun doing here? Chang Yun happened to be visiting, so I cordially invited him to join us for the journey. Oh, I see. Um, but why did Chang Yun say he thought there was an evil spirit? I see that you are not familiar with the story of old. It is said that fireworks were once called firecrackers and were used to ward off evil spirits and the like. Okay. In ancient times, Liyue was plagued by evil spirits. As people gathered together to celebrate the annual festival, the Yang energy would intensify, and Liyue Harbor was under the gracious protection of Rex Lapis, so the spirits dared not enter the city. However, they still lingered near the city gates, and in order to drive the spirits away, people made firecrackers and lit them near the city gates. The flashes of light and loud noise successfully drove the spirits once they... This festival is now known as the Lantern Rite. It was my intention to travel around to see if there are any malicious spirits lying in wait for passers-by. Since I happened to have a shipment of goods Bye. to deliver, and our course was through the mountains, I naturally thought it best to have my thaumaturge friend traveling alongside me. El crack. Singcho said he learned the story about evil spirits from an ancient text. The text vividly describes the appearance and even the whereabouts of the spirits. Hmm. Anyway, when we arrived at the area, Chong Yun sensed an ambush about to take place. Upon searching the area, we found a group of treasure hoarders. 
They tried to flee the moment we were upon them. Fortunately, I was swift enough to catch one of them. Your timing couldn't have been more fortunate. We were just preparing to send them to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. He insists the matter is merely a misunderstanding, but things seem quite clear as I see it. Good sir, just hear me out. Everyone knows the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Had we known it was your merchant caravan, we never would have dared to attack. Pero la the master of the Feiyun Commerce Guild is famous <laughs> for his generosity and noble deeds, a, a, a true hero of the people. So, you see, this is nothing but a big misunderstanding. We, we didn't want any trouble with the guild. What you mean to say is that you were targeting someone else then? Well... La acaba de pegar una pillada que flipas, por qué no? Master Singcho, I would like to borrow a few of your staff to escort the thief to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. As for the bounty, we will pay you afterward. It is my humble duty to uphold justice. No remuneration shall be necessary. Qué majo que es, eh, niño agua. See that this thief is taken to. The yes, young master, leave it to us. You heard him. Take this man over there and make sure. Wait a second. Please also deliver this message to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <coughs> It's very likely that this thief is related to the recent fireworks theft in Chingsa Village. Make sure they have someone question him. Thoroughly. <laughs> so the plot thickens. Is your task clear? We mustn't disappoint the Yuang. Yes, young master, I understand. We'll be on our way. Vale. Parece que los sirvientes escoltan a la donante Sosari Yue. I've heard many good things about you, Master Xingqiu. Thank you for your assistance. I hardly lifted a finger. Think nothing of it. Everyone, my intuition tells me that there could be more than one group of treasure hoarders in this area. More than one group? Oh, you've got quite a keen eye too, Chong Yun. During our search, I found scattered sets of footprints differing from those on the road. There may still be other treasure hoarders waiting to ambush passers-by. When I was chasing the treasure hoarders earlier, I noticed that they were nearly unarmed and very few in numbers. If they truly intended to ambush the Fei Yun Commerce Guild, they must have overestimated themselves. If you ask me, they didn't seem to be staging an ambush, but rather it appeared as if they were waiting for someone. It appears they may be the thief's accomplices. They were probably hiding here to wait for the stolen goods. What exactly are the stolen goods, if I may ask? Taking advantage of the elderly and children, what a loathsome group of criminals. Lady Kuching, don't fret about manpower. Chongyun, let's go lend them a hand in Chingsa village, shall we? Yeah, just leave it to us. We can handle a bunch of thieves. Thank you. That will help alleviate the crisis in Chingsa village. Unfortunately, the footprints we were following end here. I don't know where we should go next. It seems we were only a moment away from catching all the treasure hoarders. Aww, Kuching. Tranquila. Thank Master Xingqiu. I'll leave Chingsa Village under your watch. Most assuredly, Lady Kuching. Well, now, parece que aquí en este caso Chongyun y Xingqiu van a la a la aldea. It's fortunate our paths crossed with those two. Sí, es bueno contar con un poco de ayuda. The thieves who stole the fireworks haven't revealed themselves yet. I'll go have a look around. Traveler, please go take a rest in Chingsa Village. I've troubled you enough already. I can handle the rest of this matter myself. Uh, Kuching, are you planning to look for clues all by yourself? Oh, right! You're in the Liwa Chising! Why don't you ask some of your subordinates to help? At least it'll be safer than investigating on your own. Yes, I agree, but we are short-handed at the moment. I can handle these trivial matters myself. The fireworks that were transported to Chingsa Village were quite bulky. The way I see it, if they were clever enough, they would conceal the stolen goods somewhere and then come pick them up later. All I have to do is find out where they hid the fireworks and then return to the location with... Don't worry. I am not reckless, and I won't carelessly alert the thieves. Well, when you put it that way... It's settled then. Traveler, Paimon, please go get some rest. I'll go find you in Chingsa Village when I'm done. Vale, esto parece que es el final ¿no? de esta misión principal. Ahí está, hemos completado el acto 2 con los ojos en el cielo y los pies en el suelo. 
Y bueno, ¿qué puedo decir? 60 protogemitas eh, literalmente han costado, eh, casi 40 minutitos, eh, pero la historia me ha parecido muy divertida y seguro que a vosotros también os ha molado, así que la cosa va bien. Y bueno, ¿qué puedo decir? Ahora eh, tenemos un montón de cosas que hacer del festival, así que voy a intentar aprovechar este vídeo, ¿no? Para intentar por lo menos avanzar alguna de las actividades que seguro que tenemos por aquí. Vamos a venir un momentito. Ojo, pinchar hacer una. ¿Esto no sé qué? Ah, vale, sí, esto es lo de... Vale, esto es lo del conjunto. Vale, pues vamos a ir a detalles. A ver, se supone que ahora... Esto no lo tenemos, pero aquí se han desbloqueado nuevas cosas, ¿no? En sombras y demás. Vale, vamos a venir a lo de sombras y así pues nos teletransportamos supongo que al Iyue, tenemos estas conseguidas. Vamos con la segunda parte, ¿vale? Así que vamos al lío. Vale, tenemos que venir aquí, hacemos el TP y al lío. Vamos a ver un poquito qué viene en las siguientes sombras, ¿no? A ver un poquito de qué va todo esto. Y lo que digo, los otros dos probablemente sean los siguientes vídeos que vayamos viendo porque aquí al final, como podéis ver, hay muchísimo contenido y eso, a ver, es bueno... Y a la vez es divertido, ¿no? Porque realmente eh, una de las cosas que más me ha gustado de, del juego, como podéis ver, es que este evento, aparte del lore, aparte de todo eso, tiene minijuegos muy variados y muy divertidos. Y yo creo que eso es una de las claves, ¿no? El poder disfrutar a tope de la aventura y en este caso, pues lo de las sombras, como vi que era muy cortito la otra vez, creo que podemos hacerlo ya. Y así nos lo quitamos ya, ¿no? Ya lo fácil, vamos allá. Opa. Vale. Vamos a ver. Vale, tenemos aquí el siguiente. Ojo, este me, me lo saqué súper rápido, el de la cometa. Poca broma. Parece una cometa, ¿no? No, no veo nada de aquí, eh, poca broma. No, no sé lo que es la pista Ah, vale Jope Es así, ¿no? Es que no sé O sea, así es que es así, seguro. O sea, es que está complicado porque es lo que digo. O sea, fijaos, o sea, aquí llegamos al tope y después debería ser o hacia arriba o hacia adelante, ¿no? Wow. 
Ah, que hay dos secciones. Nada, perdonadme. Eh, modo retarded, literalmente, porque hay dos secciones. Vale, vale, vale. Ahí está, esto es una balanza Esto este era fácil, ¿eh? Es lo que digo A veces hay algunos fáciles Y otros que dices tío, Vale, esto obviamente es la sección 1 Y ahora hay que poner esto en orden, ¿no? A ver Esto es al revés Ahí ¿No? Ahí está Estos son súper fáciles, vale es lo que digo, eh, el único complicado apareció primero pero porque no había visto lo de abajo, bros. O sea. Vale, aquí está todo explicado. Más a recompensas y lo que digo, son 90 protogemitas más. Básicamente 90 más 60 son 150. Casi una tiradita o un deseo ahí bien bueno. Pues bueno, espero que os haya gustado lo que digo. Cogemos recompensitas. Vamos aquí consiguiendo cositas, like a vos. Y en el próximo vídeo, pues iremos viendo alguna de las otras actividades ¿no? que tenemos en este magnánime evento. Si os está gustando los vídeos, como siempre, por favor, déjate buen like, suscribiros al canal para estar atento a todas las novedades. Nos vemos en el server de Discord y nos vemos en la próxima. Adiós.